Hello, and welcome back to my Aircoots campaign. Right now we are focusing on restoring our hold, so that way we can go down and work on either negotiating our turn and annexing Eldan, or we can strike at them and go for uh, an attack. I'm not sure exactly what we would do. Then we can go down here and get some extra bonuses, and then go for the Far Eastern campaign, which will expand on who we'd attack next, probably uh, Cheetah or Yakutia, I'm not sure English Civil War and the Warsaw Uprising. I'm not sure to win this. Serbs rise up, a lot of events. He wins, I th think that's the the worst case scenario. Who do we... Oh, we don't want anyone to win if we're, uh... role-playing. See him, we're still in charge there. The French state has no person in control. in Norway. All right. Ooh, this is something, uh... Wait, are they not at war? Oh, this is probably just a border. A border thing, right? You're not actually at war with each other? I hope not. I pushed into Eldan. Years ago, the partisans led by Guzop Orochov and Eldan left our ranks with the idea that they could survive the waste on their own. To their credit, orders have been largely maintained within their little borders. Persians seem to value the survival of the settlements taken care of. We are far better equipped to provide them with security in these dark times than any other power in Russia. A sentiment, including themselves, and a voice should be sent to the message suggesting that the partisans acknowledge our claim over their lands and the decisions in return for friendship and part in restoring the glory of the Union. Surely they will understand the gravity and importance of our cause when approach. If not, well, that bridge over a river of their own making can be crossed when necessary. So we have political power up. Just two more and we can scavenge for loot. State is still not powerful enough. Okay, fine. We're back in the positives and we're getting loot. Yeah, I think that red line means there's a border conflict. Wonder what's our culture? Oh, Russian. Okay, that makes sense. We have more construction. Let's go with military construction. production. Did we ever get another military factory? So yes, we are building one of everything. Cool. Let's start building some more guns whenever we get the uh, ability to. So I wonder if it will for us. I think it will. I would prefer to just I guess it takes a minute. Partisan surrender. A small man, man of acute descent arrived on a horseback this morning delivering encouraging news. It's overruling our former arms forces. It appears the town of Eldon and its satellites have found themselves unwilling to pay the cost of extending guerrilla war. The local despot, a man once entrusted by common good to guard the frontiers of Russian King Soviet state, has agreed or earlier demanded via radio. KVD forces are already en route to the town, eager to investigate the situation and help transition people back to legitimate government. It appears violence will not be necessary. Nice. In negotiated return, the Alden partisans have sent their response and accept our request to rejoin the Union and help return to its glory. Orkov and his people have spent so long serving on their own that they now can 
uh, for them a better, safe way forward in these troubled times. A simple game of assurances of their leadership, safety, and thinly veiled implications of the consequences of non-compliance with the legitimate government of the land have won us this day and thousands of new comrades without a single drop of blood being spilled on either side. As their forces merge with their own, a new song of cooperation, faintly but firmly, hangs on the air. The restoration of a glorious union is a distant dream, but one that grows ever closer with every step along this path that we endeavor to take. Okay, they're not yet under control, but they will be in just a second. We could raid them, but no. Actually, you know what? Even though we don't have one yet, we should probably focus more on a bit more support equipment and a bit more motorized first. I've also learned my lesson. If someone tries to attack me for loot, I have to give it up. Unless my divisions are already uh, there. I will uh, not get our or worry about our stability yet. Finland seems very stable, all things considered. I wonder what happened to Mannerheim. Is he dead at this point? Oh, cool, we get all their divisions. Low manpower, that's not good. Or northern Bastion. The assimilation of militarized citizens of Eldon into our population. We have grown ever so slightly stronger power in these eastern wastelands. The northern lies of richly and in frontier. Bandits and beasts alike select our prey. Every citizen of our union that is beaten, robbed, killed, in a serious insult to every member of the Soviet Union. Our priority now, Eldon has been turned into an ally of the union. Should be to change from the era into a veritable fortress against the northern wolves who might make victims over citizen With enough men, guns, and concrete. We can make sure that the assault from our north would be a fool's errand. Hopefully, with enough time and resistance to our excursions into our newly reclaimed territory, we will provide them that they are fruitless efforts and stop them altogether. Um, is there someone we can raid? Let's see. Let's go ahead and persuade some people. up a bit more so that way we can expand the jurisdiction probably also want to strengthen military cells at some point anyone that we can raid no set you guys up here Cheetah is at war. Okay, six to seven to nine, four, four to six. I mean, we are weaker militarily than some of these people. Sorry. Uh, Economically weaker, but militarily we're standing up to them, so there's that. Decryption done. Let's work more on the land doctrine. We haven't done anything. What do we want to do? Extensive planning. Attrition planning. Yeah, let's work on that. Prepare for our struggle. Okay, free manpower. A bunch of it. Ooh. Two civilian factories, infrastructure, and military. Supply grace is okay. Some free manpower. 
organization. Recovery rate hurts, but max entrenchment down is good. Prepare for the final struggle. The final battle lies to the east of the Soviet Union. Fascists who lie on the coast and access to the sea, the ports that were stolen from the people back by the godforsaken Japanese to the south, but that support no longer exists. The line is severed. People of the Soviet Union begin to prepare. Our destiny awaits, and it sits along the Siberian coast that borders the Pacific. Our land that was taken from the people against their will and used to fuel the disgraceful operations the fascists are doing. This time the people will remind the fascists where they belong, and the Soviet Union will make sure that they are sure of it, even if it means that we point a gun barrel to them after do so. It's time to march east and destroy the fascists once and for all. all right, we're getting some more support up. Yeah, low manpower. Or support is hurting our total manpower. Um, there's not a lot else we can really do right now to get manpower up other than take that focus. Stuff is still trending up, but slowly. Yeah, yeah, we just need a bunch of political power right now. Dang, they've got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go to the front. Down. Yeah, we need to watch out for them. Actually, can we core stuff? Should be a button to core, right? Yeah, integrate Eldon. All right. Weekly stability going down, but we get a core, so we can't do stuff about that. And power problem. All right, let's ready the industry. We need this because of the union. Be prepared. Our final flight of the Far East dawns upon us. The battle of liberating our fellow peers from the grasp of the fascists to the east. For the army will fight them directly. The workers will be the ones to create the tools of war that will fuel the fight. We need to get everything ready and in order. Production of guns that will be used to kill the enemies of the people must be kicked into high gear. The resources that we fuel the production of said guns need to be extracted and processed. Factories that will house the creation of our weapons. We need every Soviet that is capable of working on the front lines of industry. While the brave men on the front lines against the fascists will fight, the ones who will stay home, but in the factories will contribute to the fight just as much as the ones on the battlefield. Let's see, the people to the east are right, you. Oh, Magdon. Alright. How are you holding them back? Government prevails. Right. So did the fascists win in England? Is it what happened? Authoritarian democracy, reconstruction, growing home, or uh, the end of the disaster. Maybe not. Evan for Lou. Enough political power. The North awakens. Reports have slowly begun filtering down from the movement in the distant communes of Siberia. What is really we cannot say, but the fact that any form of news is leaving that region alone. You wonder what exactly has been happening. Surely, if the communes are making any kind of stir for the first time in 20 years, it must be some form important. Reports from the strength of the religious, those few traders who make their way that far 
north over the eastern Siberian territory which have left entire communes chanting in prayer. Churches being filled with the brim, some of the figures pushing them onwards. Nobody knows exactly what to spread this action, but the people of Siberian keep praying for one man. They call him the Father. We missed it in this warfare. The Russian Far East few men have bothered to pay attention to the frigid land in the north. Beyond a f sorry, have bothered to pay attention to the in the north beyond a few abandoning mining towns, isolated Shuk villages and wandering nomads, the areas have assumed to be more or less abandoned. A few madmen was said to occasionally find their way up there, attempting to establish their own empire in the cold, but the land bitterly refused to be tamed. The state of anarchy has now ended. The beginning of hymns, travel years brought tales of entire villages uniting in prayer, singing songs of hope and peace in the name of the Lord. This hardly seems unusual. Russia has been a godly land even through the days of the Union. But when many travelers all begin speaking the same tales coming from so many different villages, our leaders begin to suspect something was amiss. Now we know why. He has arrived in our midst from the United North. He came under the message of judgment delivered from his master, the so-called fatherman. This father has broken the entirety of the North belonging to the single union in the name of God, declaring that we have committed grievous sins, so much land of holy Russia. He's about to lead his flock of faithful against us and deliver us two things, divine wrath and divine salvation. He has hoped that this was some trick, but Radio Scots are reporting movement of northern borders. The north has indeed come, and their hymns grow louder and louder by the day. We must party our forces to meet his army and his all head on. Soon, however, that there are some among us who would rather leave this place and pledge our life in the name of this crusade. We must prepare for the new threat. May God welcome this wayward throw. We are not giving up. The divine mandate is... Five troops. We must prepare for this new threat. Get ready. Ready to industry. So are they getting ready to attack us? Okay, they will be attacking us soon ish. We've got that and dispatch the commissars. Our reclamation of this land we lost may be fast, but we cannot know for sure that the lands that we take back from the people might contain fellow comrades following the revolution. We need to make sure that the people who live in the land we take back will support us, and if that is not the case, we must send NKVD commissars in the field to ensure that. Whether that may be through violent or more peaceful convincing measures, the people who reside within our newly regained territory cannot. You people who have betrayed the Union, fascists, monarchists, Nazis, or whatever else people might have turned to. We need to make sure our people, make sure our lands are filled not with them, but with the people of the revolution and of communism. How many, uh... Divisions do you have? We can read you. Let's go for it. Spending, uh, command power to get uh, more loot is good. What are you missing? Support equipment. We no longer have administrative purges, which I think is good. Sounds like a negative effect. Construction. We have three being worked on. Support, division, attack. Ooh, 50% recovery rate, 15% attack. These guys are actually kind of scary. Catch the common SARS. Alright, let's go ahead and use that to get... 
industrial expertise, batch the common stars, streamline supply consumption, feel the reclamation over former lands in the far east. Supplies must be able to get to their necessary locations as smoothly as possible, and ideally without any improvement or mishaps caused. Could you consider what would happen if our guns went into the hands of would-be betrayal of the revolution? Gather the workers in the union and get them to work. We'll make sure these instructions are loud and clear. Build the roads that will will drive across. Construct the railroads that will deliver through. Standalize the equipment we will use. Prepare the infrastructure necessary to store supplies. The Soviet Union will gladly think and become one of the revolution that helps fuel the cause further. These distances across Siberia are vast, but with the help of other people, we can make them shorter. Tribute paid. Cool. These guys. I really want those extra uh, uh, civilian factories. An extra military. That would be amazing. There we go. Get that extra division. We're at 10, which is nice. It's attrition planning. Steel. We need some steel. Do we want to trade for it yet? You really can't. Ooh, Tomsk is getting kind of strong. Cheetah's kind of strong. They're probably going to start mobilizing really fast. Streamline supply chain. All right. Oh, another division. Every little bit helps. Not one step back. The brave Soviets spreading the revolution back to the areas under the Philly fascists. Remember, this is a fight. The Union is not ready to lose for the glorious revolution to succeed, for the will of the people to prevail over others. Not a single step back it will be permitted. No retreats, not so fascists to the Far East when we the people are ready to throw as much as we can at them just to prove the revolution is not the right bear to be messing with. If this means we are sending our men to die in the fields of Siberia, then these men will be remembered as heroes of the Union, the ones who fought justice and liberated the workers suffering under the fascists, and helped restore the Union closer to its former glory. Some more manpower. Alright, next thing we do is... We need to get to 75. Right, persuade the party faction. Sure. And then we need to get to 50 to strengthen the ministry powers. They're moving in the right direction. Poverty rate's going uh, down. That's... I guess poverty rate's getting worse. I guess that's how I should say it. Not one step back. Alright, the Far Eastern Campaign. Finally, with our industry prepared and our men ready to die for the Gula Revolution, there's only one step forward. Sorry, one step left. Advance. Move forward, soldiers of the Union. Our test begins against the fascist league. Show them no mercy and slaughter them all. March forward into their houses of cards and knock them all down. Kick the front doors of each and every one and shit the owners in the head. The revolution returns to the Far East and we are ready to be here to stay. The people will show how they prevail without the need of turning to such disgusting ideology. Do you mind them how about how the glorious Russia used to be under communism? Not sure how to get the poverty rate better. Unless one of these was for poverty rate. Nope. Do 
these guys are mobilizing scarily fast. Nixon resigns. Who's Kamshka? Oh, these guys. Okay. These guys are just gonna get stronger and stronger. Oh, they get. That's just going to be a place for the core to get more manpower, which in itself is not good, but. All right, and now these are updated. Oh, okay, Operation Pluto. Neptune. That's who I need to go for next. Needs to be done quickly, all right. Chita, Amur, Magdon. Siberia. Wait, does that automatically give me the war? Does not war for the peasantry. One stars in the field. We'll look for all right, Operation Neptune. With the area of Yakutia is one of the potential vital importance of the development of the Soviet Union, providing with the potential to gain many, many natural resources if we could integrate them into our sphere, but we need to take need to do it fast. Precious cannot be allowed to get to the diamond producing states before we do it, and the precious resources that we could gather and use to help further revolution into the future will be of particular importance to the furthering of our cause. Further, just as long as we can do it in time, prepare the Soviet Union to invade Yakutia. I'll begin to draft plans for the Sakha ASSR. Once we have occupied the region, we'll integrate them as soon as possible. And that just instantly starts the war. For Eastern campaigns. Here you go to look on with interest as generals made plans on the large maps that represent the Russian Far East. The base of the map itself was of the 1940s and has been hastily drawn over markers to the Red Army believed the strategic situation. As you can see, comrades, the fascists are divided and weak. We I have asked for a better opportunity to strike. Field Marshal Mok said as he gestured toward the enemy positions on the map. Represented with lines of red markers, Yorov was not wrong. Intel of the situation farther east was not exactly ideal. But it seems to suggest that the fascist warlords were too busy squabbling among themselves to offer any serious resistance to an invasion. Go to his attention, still focused on the map, spoke up. Lushkov, how ready are our forces? Yorov backed away from the map, trying to go to as ready as they'll ever be, how ready to go to. Then I think I'm right at this time to put our planes into motion. Fascist dogs have played to Russia with their toxic presence for too long. It would bring me great pleasure to see them crush like the vermin they are. We gotta pause for a moment. Remember that this is our very important step towards reunification, comrades. First, we take the Far East, then we liberate the rest of Russia and beyond. We'll not accept failure when we fate when the fate of the Soviet Union still lies on the pep business. Go to short speech would resonate heavily with all who heard it. The next few months, we would see the lines of the Far East drenched in blood, and that with a great deal of effort and a little luck, one of the the Soviet Union would remain standing once. No, okay, good. Okay, I would make sure of that. Road to victory will be paved with blood. Sin cometh not on the pot of darkness, shadows, and abomination in the world any longer. Sin works in disguise, beguiling mankind through attraction and lust to bring him more closely to the realm of Gena. Yes, the valley of the Himon fills this earth with money lenders of Bant. The Lord and the Father so greatly marches to the depth of one such a pit of sin. Son and Father, brother and brother, the fraternal militia of our faith followed the Father into such a place that day, weary from their travels, yet never more wishing for the corruption of the decadence to strike the heart of our home again. Thus what needed to be done was ordered forth by our Father. Moneylenders' banks were forced to close, shutting out the serpent of sin. The bandit was arrested that day and tried on order of relations of Holy Scripture and the embezzlers, now greatly did he plead as it sought away from his wretched place of thoughts and greed. However, as the crackling of gunfire began, so greatly did the return return hostile, sending our father to a fit. Morse as a soldier so greatly went forth, bringing the burning judgment of the Lord down. 
And thus, with accordance with the will of the Lord, so did the villages burn that day with holy fires, and cleanse this land from putrid sin. However, as the soldiers, the judges of mankind, under one holy God, cried out in praise and victory, so greatly did our Father fall to his knees as this night sky adorned his cloak with the flakes of heavy frost. And so it was in the dew of the Lord, and all we serve. So I think these guys are getting close to war. Gotta go here. These guys require both at least, so we have time. Cheetah, Iracus, and Yakuta. So we need to be ready for uh, war by the time they get Bring the Sword. Cheetah don't even think about backstabbing us right now. So they're going on Qtia now. That might actually cause them to go to war with us once we have control. Not exactly sure how that works. But anyways, we have ran out of time for this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.